I'm late. Alright, hold on. I, since I'm late, I do need, like, a second. But, on the plus side, bros, um, I did a lot of prep for the stream. So, at the very least, that's kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> What's up, Sherrod? What's up, Geek? Yo, I, uh, got your email, Roy. Thanks for that. Oh, that's right. That reminds me, um, I gotta answer some questions. Um... All right, Rachel. That's cool, Tenzin. It's good to see you in the chat, bro. Tough skills. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thanks for the thumbnail, Tejas. I, like, showed it to some of my roommates, and they are like, cracking up, dude. That's, like, hilarious. Tough summer. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I want to, like, go over some um, things I want to go over today. Obviously, look at, I mean, obviously, percentage, obvious, right? So, like, yeah. Um, I want to go over percentages today. Uh, okay, what do I think is a good score to get into a specialized high school? Uh, bro, dude, I have, like, I have those cutoff scores written somewhere. I could, like, pull them up, but it'll just take a second, so just hold up. Um, where did I put those on my computer? Yeah, let me just pull up these, uh, cutoff scores, and then I can just tell you, and it'll be over. Okay. Um, okay, so Bronx Science, you got a score of 518. Brooklyn Latin is a 483. Brooklyn Tech is 493. Uh, high School Math Science of Engineering is 516. H HSAS at Lehman is 517. Staten Island, 519. STI is 560. And Queen Science at York is 438. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so I've just been like... Yeah, dude, Rachel, I saw those questions. We should do those towards the end of the stream. So just remind me. Yeah. Um, no in percentages. Oh, yeah, they actually don't give it in percentage because if you watch my show or my video, How to Hack the SHSAT, it's not about the percentage you get right. It's how many percentage did you get right in the math section and is it a lot or a little? And how many right did you get in the English section? A lot or little. And you got to hit those bonus sections. So in my video, I show you can just get the same number of questions right as the dude next to you and still get a much higher score than him because you've maximized the, the way that it's scored. I'd watch that video, Furious, if you're like interested in that. Um, yeah, exactly. There is no like raw score percentage with this. So yeah, it can be actually a little bit tough. Okay, cool. So we kind of jumped into this. Um, oh, dude, that seven train, bro. At least you're above ground. Um, yeah, I like that. I like walking downstairs rather than up. Um, what's up, Poke Pokegar? Yeah, so I, I do have percentage work I want to do with you guys, and I think I should start with this, actually, because it's already, already, like, queued up and whatever. So there's a huge difference between percentage of versus percentage off. If I say, what is 20% of 100 compared to what is 20% off of 100, those are two different things, of course, right? The answer for this is gonna be 0.2 times 100, so our answer is gonna be 20. And this, you can do two different ways. You could say 0.2 times 100, you're gonna get 20, and then you do your 100 minus the 20, because you're getting 20% off, and you get your 80. But the way that I recommend that you do this, just because like I just want you guys to be quick as, fo as possible, bro, um, rather than saying 20% off, say that you're paying 80% of. Because if you're getting 20% off, that means you're only having to pay for 80% of that. You know what I'm talking about? So then you can just do the 0.8 times 100 and you're home with your 80 in just one step rather than doing this step, then the subtraction, then that step. So I really, really, really recommend you do it this way, bros. Um, this is like the fastest way to get it done. <laughs> yeah, dude, two months to the test. Dude, that's so crazy. Are you guys like totally pumped or like what's going on? Like how are you guys feeling about that? That's Oh yeah, Sports Show's gonna be here for a minute. He has fourteen mounts. I have fourteen months to get ready for SHSAT specialized high school test. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and also he's been working hard, man. A lot of you guys have been working hard, so there's only so much you can do. You know, even if you had four years to study for it, there are kids who study for a really long time and still don't get in. So it ultimately comes down to you guys. So like, 
don't stress much about the time just stress more just about like you know kind of getting it done also yeah please leave a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already i'm trying to get to 900 subs so we can do an all static stream it's gonna be crazy <laughs> yeah uh and as far as like for furious as far as actual test taking tips just be cool man just be cool like know that you're gonna get a spike of adrenaline but just kind of do your thing you know what i mean yeah and alicia some people do better when they're like nervous and stuff what's up alana so yeah we're gonna get into the percentages then i have some reading comp for you guys to do because you guys have been always asking me for reading comps so i wrote some delicious uh text passages for us to look at um 81 on your kaplan test i think that's pretty solid dude generally i, I tell students to shoot to get an a in the shsat but it just depends on um yeah our skills we're gonna do revising oh no we're gonna do reading comp today yeah i can do a video on revising editing that's a good idea skills i just need more time dude and just stop being so lazy oh you can't see the video mm, dang sorry laurel I, I don't know i don't know how to fix that i'm streaming pretty good here all systems go um except i'm dropping frames like crazy because my computer is slow um okay so let's jump into this percentage stuff because i want to talk about it so most people can do problems like this where it's like Okay, so a lot of times they'll give you kind of an easier question, something like this. So go ahead and give this a shot, bros. You got it. Um, yeah, dude, we can do uh, precise language later this week. I'm gonna do some. Um, I'm gonna do some ELA though. I'm gonna do some uh, reading comprehension today. Yeah, but we can definitely do editing. I love grammar, dude. So I'm like, if you guys have grammar questions, I'm like, you're dude. I could answer grammar questions all day. Yeah. Nice, nice. I'll give you another minute with this. Nice, 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 nice. You guys are coming in good on here. This is really good. Yep. Chaos. Thanks again for the uh, thumbnail, dude. That cracked me up, dude. Skills. Nice skills. Good job, dude. Furious. Yeah, okay. So, uh-huh. Then, uh, okay, cool. Yeah, you all are crushing this. Good job, dude. Good job. Alana. Roy. Got you, bro. Geek. Okay, yeah, you guys crushed this. I sport so too. Nice, dude. Good job, bros. All right, cool. Excellent. Under a minute and 30. You guys absolutely crushed. Really, really nice. Yeah, dude, Tony. Oh, thanks for the sub, Tony. I didn't realize you weren't subscribed. Yeah, definitely drop a question. Tony has historically has really good questions. Tejas, bro, I think what you did is you took 20% of this 45. So just set it up. We have the whole price, which we don't know, times the 0.2 is going to equal 45. Okay, so we got to do this dividing by 0.2 on each side, which is kind of heinous. I, I like feel you on that. I hate dividing, but you got to do what you got to do. Um, this goes in twice, no remainder, twice, four, one, ten, five. Yeah, the chat crushes once again. All right, so that's like an easy percentage problem. And that's one way that they'll try to like get you by like mixing up the information they'll give you. Here's the second way that they'll try to get you, bros. Uh, let me write up this question and then... Alana? Oh, sorry, Alana. Yeah, let me write out this question really quick. Um,
Okay. Okay. All right, chill. So I'm going to give you some answer choices for this just because I think it'll be cool. Um, uh, let's see. Wait. Okay. Okay. Here's the question, guys. Let's get it. A stock goes down 20%. It then goes down 10% of its new value. What percentage of the original price is the final value? Oh, the legend, please, dude. What's up, man? Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, bro. <sighs> All right, yeah, welcome to everybody who's new in the chat. Um, yeah, definitely subscribe if you're looking to study for the SHSAT this summer. Leave a like if you love the fact that you have to study in the middle of the summer for this test. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's a hard, ooh. Tony, that's a good question, man. We might do that later on. I told Rachel that we'd do a question of hers. Okay, so we've got some people coming in. Yeah, Laurel's like stunning on this question. Yep. Uh, Henry, you changed your answer, dude. I, I cannot take that. Money, money, the Q. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Neil. <laughs> Tejas already got you, player. Roy. All right, yeah, everybody's crushing up on this one, so no need, no need. Minute 30, good timing, bro. Oh, really? Oh, uh, okay, what's up, Animation Space? Yeah. Nice. Make sure you uh, subscribe with your your with your like sock puppet accounts for sure. Like I have like three accounts and I like sub them all on my channel. <laughs> Sports show. Okay. Yeah. You guys absolutely crushed this. So, um, Neil, I always write your name. Uh, we absolutely crushed this. So I'm just gonna go over this just for the sake of it. Um, the first thing we have to kind of consider is that, um, it goes down twenty percent. So whenever they don't give us a price for something, I just always use a hundred bucks. Like, why not? It like works really good with percentages. So let's just say the stock is a hundred bucks. Then it goes down twenty percent, which means that we are going to price it at eighty percent. So that equals eighty. So this is the brand new price. And then it goes down ten percent. So then we could take ten percent of this and subtract it, or you could just times it by point nine. Um, and what are you gonna get? You're gonna get seven hundred and twenty put that little decimal point in there and bang 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 good job the chat's killing it right really really nice really 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 good so yeah you guys can cru absolutely crush that percentage that's that's super good okay i think i'm gonna have to do like a much harder percentage problem for you dudes because you guys have absolutely obliterated those so give me a second and let me like like and by second i mean like give me like two minutes and i'm gonna whip up I th what i think to be a very difficult percentage problem Uh, this is going to take a while to write. The numbers are all good, though.
Okay. Oh, my hand hurts. <laughs> I've been writing so much. Okay. So check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Back. Um, there's a large tank filled slightly with water. I add 10 gallons and the tank is 60% full. I then add five more gallons and the tank is 80% full. How much water was in the tank originally in gallons? Let's go. Uh, Tony. Uh... Oh, wow. this chat is going way too fast. All right, you guys are finally catching it. Nice. And we'll go over this. You did not do this problem before. No way, we did a problem like this, but never this problem exactly. Because I just made this up in my head. <laughs> Sorry that one guy already got you, bro. A lot of different answers, though, for sure. Ah, uh, yeah, Wiz, you finally see it, bro. They tricked you. Don't let yourself get tricked like that, dude. Like, it's always good advice to win. I'm going to stop this question. As far as advice, like, it's always super, super good. Um, <laughs> sport show. I should just smash my computer so it can run slower. Yeah, it's always really good advice to reread the question sentence. When you're done answering... Answer the question, then go back and read the sentence and go, did I answer the question? Like, that's the that's the kind of big thing that you have to do. Um, yeah. Okay. So, ooh, we're kind of running out of time. I want to make sure I do the ELA. And then Rachel had emailed me questions that I wanted to do. And then we can do your question after that, Tony. Or just, like, save it for the other chat because I, I always like doing your questions, Tony. They're always really hard. Um, yeah, Tony makes really good questions, man. You should make, like a like, a test prep book. Like, hit me up. I'll show you how you can publish that on Amazon, bro. Um, but yeah, let's do this. Oh, not slow-mo. Screw that. All right, so uh, people have been kind of dropping in the chat. Um, oh, you were skills? Sorry, bro. Yeah, I was like, skills? You're normally on top of stuff. <laughs> All right, so uh, whenever we're dealing with this and people were dropping it in the chat, um, yeah, it's because you're so cool, Tejas. Um, we have to figure out how many gallons equals how many percent, right? So when he adds, when I add five gallons, I go from 60% to 80%. So that means that five gallons equals about 20%. Cool? Because I added five and I went from 60 and now I'm at 80. So five gallons seems to equal 80% in this bucket. So we added 10 gallons. And so what would that 10 gallons be? We are at 60%. And if we take away the 10 gallons, since five gallons is 20%, taking away 10 gallons is gonna take away 40%. So what we're left with or the original amount of water in the thing is 20%. And that's why a lot of you cats picked it, but that's actually wrong. Because I'm asking for in gallons. No, I'm talking about. So we actually need to turn this into gallons. And as we see here, 20% equals five gallons. So these homies are on point. So if you were here, like don't, don't feel bad for sure, but definitely reread the question because the SHSAT isn't fair. They're trying to trick you all of the time dude you got to be like super careful navigating through it you know what i mean <laughs> okay so 
I want to do reading comprehension now um, just because I wrote these and I want to make sure we have enough time to do it. So the main concept that I'm going to be testing you guys today and something that is brand new to reading comprehension in the SHSAT. So if you're looking at old books or crappy books or old materials, the reading comprehension is not what you may think it is, dude. So like you got to, you got to tighten up. What we're going to talk about is function. Ask yourself what function does this have okay so we all are familiar with asking ourselves this like we have friends that post on social media and you know their friend is like going to the gym just working out you're like i understand that what you're technically doing is just updating people but what function are you doing you're showing off you're flexing you're like you know showing people how cool are you you're going to the gym just like people who go and do volunteer work and take selfies what function are they uh, does that selfie serve not just to show people what they look like, but to be like, look at me, look how good of a person I am. I'm volunteering, look at this photo. So that's what I mean by function. You have to ask yourself, why are they doing this? Why did the author do this? You know what I mean? And we'll do some examples um, for sure. We'll do some examples um, just so we can talk about it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly prominent, dude. Like the workbooks, no, no, not even close the actual thing so here is my reading comprehension that i prepared for you guys because i do it all for you guys uh <laughs> okay all right bang bang okay here we go i'm gonna get rid of my video so my obs doesn't crash okay so i want you guys to read this passage um that's kind of weird skills uh <laughs> Uh, I want you guys to read this passage and then answer the question. Okay? Reading comprehension. Let's get it. Yeah, and study till I pass out was nice enough to put a Discord together. Uh, we're doing reading comp, Immortal Essence. <laughs> uh, that's so funny. Keep mind, I don't steal my problems from anywhere. This is a original, just for you guys, the freshy of the fresh. Okay, I can't write down your names, but Immortal Essence has A, Minty has C. Yeah, I make the passage, bro. What's up, Joey? Sports Show's got C. Oh, whoops, sorry. Minty is like for sure C. Mortal Essence thinks it's A. Yeah, take your time reading, guys. Alicia thinks it's C. Pokar thinks it's A. Darth Senpai. Senpai, please notice me. Thinks it's A. Mm, okay. <laughs> Crunchy Years has got C. Henry Pan's got A. Jerry's on A. Joey's on C. Tejas is on C. Leo's on C. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, good stuff, bros. Neil's got C, Laurel's on A. Teos is on C. Yeah. Okay, Roy's on C. I prominence on A. Tejas, yeah, I got you. Rinzo's on C. Neil's on C. Okay, yeah, so let's go over this, shall we? <laughs> See. <ya>. <laughs> Animation space. Yep, Dutch Senpai is pretty sure about it. Uh, we'll see. Okay, Venna's on C. All right, so you guys are definitely going between A and C, which is like legit, but you know, we need to talk about this. Okay. So we're talking about function, bros. We are talking about function, all right? So what is this paragraph all about? Well, this paragraph is about our boy, Do Gus, and um, he's having a bad time. You know what I'm talking about? 
really bad time. His foot gets run over. He's tucking himself into a ball, right? He's screaming at the heavens. This is the worst pain of my life after getting run over by a hot dog car. So, okay. I mean, I guess that could be the worst pain of your life. People are, like, averting their gaze because of how pathetic he's screaming. He's just screaming, you know? Um, they think a pipe is burst, but, you know, he's the one who's screaming. So then this second paragraph, what does it talk about? Well, it talks about how he was a Navy SEAL. He worked in extremely dangerous places. He's been shot a bunch. He had his entire arm ripped off. He was once almost sawed in half completely, right? He was hit with an explosive with shrapnel in his body. He had to take it out with no painkiller. It's like, wow, that's, that's kind of crazy. You know what I'm talking about? Like, this is, like, insane stuff. And, you know, he's saying this is the worst pain of my life. It's like, wow, look at all this stuff he's done before, right? Back on the street, he's nursing his foot. He's cried himself into a uh, tear puddle. Pretty classic behavior. Um, and he can't walk, so he log rolls to a hospital, okay? So what's the point of this? Well, ask yourself, what happens if we take this out? You know what I mean? Like, if we only have this first paragraph and this last paragraph, well, <laughs> I wrote this passage, dude, so <laughs> I don't know what's up with it, but I just thought it was funny. So he says this is the worst pain of his life. I don't really believe it. Getting run over by a hot dog car, like, I would think that you're just like, you know what I mean? Just like kind of weak. But with this stuff right here, it's really convinced me that he's done some hardcore stuff so if he's saying this is the worst pain of my life, well, maybe it actually is super painful. I mean, like, he's done all of this stuff that's, like, really crazy. You know what I mean? So if he says this is the worst pain of my life, we have to assume that that hurts, like, bad, dude. So the function of that second paragraph is to convey just how painful his foot feels. Because if he's had his entire arm ripped off, and this hot dog bender running over his foot was the worst pain in his life, that we got to believe, man, that that foot must really be hurting, bros. Um, and that's the function of that second paragraph, is to convince us, the reader, that he's not just being a wuss. Like, for real, that pain is bad, dude, because he's gone through some gnarly stuff. All right, cool. That was kind of... <laughs> that was kind of an interesting passage. Uh, let's do this next one. Um, I can just delete this. Meh. Okay. Goodbye. Okay, cool. All right. Bam. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so here's our second passage. I got to scroll up a little bit on this. All right, chill. So here's our second passage. Uh, let's get it, dudes. I don't know, Wiz. Maybe he just has really sensitive feet, you know? <laughs> the victory royale got him dude <laughs> yeah dude crunchy it does hurt uh roy i don't know if i'll have time to get to your email this session but rem keep reminding me this week and we'll get to it bro i, I swear yeah, we're going to go back to math after this, Rachel. Don't worry. We'll get to those questions you sent. I don't know, Alicia. I don't know why your mom is the CEO of Pepsi. Maybe she... I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so Henry is on B. Okay. Dude, Henry, you read fast. Minty is on B, too. Darth Senpai is on B. Okay. A little bit of redemption for you, Darth Senpai. Roy's on B. Laurel's on B. Alvin. What's up, Alvin? He's, like, super sure that it's B. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get the B hype train going. It's real, bro. It's real. Study till I pass out is B. Alana's on B, too. Yeah. Yep. Totally. Agnarine. That's a cool last name, Orlana. Agnarine. That's cool. 
Alam's, Alam's on B, Tejas is on A. Um, what's your justification for that, Tejas? Dude, I, I think Coke is better too. Money Money is on B, Wiz is on B. Yep, Geek. Rinza is on B. B, 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 Animation Space, I see you. <laughs> she does loiter too much, Jane, I feel you. <laughs> Why, Tejas? Why are you picking A, homie? What's your justification, bruh? Animation space, I see you, bro. Furious Links B. Crunchy Ears is on a different planet. <laughs> Neil Gaming's on B. Jordan's on B. Yeah. Phoenix is on B. Yep. Oh, really? <laughs> Skills is on B. Yeah, it's pretty similar, actually. Um, yeah, B, 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 B. All right, man. Why Aquaman? <laughs> Can you? Oh, but, oh my God, Minty! Don't ruin Endgame, bro. Oh, I haven't even seen it yet. Obama dies in the end. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, I didn't even know he was in it. Oh, dang. Yeah, that's true, Pokar. That's true. It's D. <laughs> yeah, is it D? Yeah. So with po Pokar for D, I would just say, um, just watch out for. Oh yeah, you think it's B? Okay, yeah. All right. I'm not. I don't need to go over this because I feel like y'all crushed it. But just keep in mind, what does the paragraph do? And if you took the paragraph uh, paragraph out, I can I can talk. I swear. If you take the paragraph out, what would you be missing? That's like the key. Yeah. Uh, really nice, bros. Really nice. Okay. That was reading comprehension. Yay. Good job. <laughs> no, I have not seen Endgame yet. Um, I just haven't seen it, dude. I've just been busy. I've been so busy, bros. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Good job. Everybody who got that last question right, give yourself a pat on the back. Wow. That's so excited. That's wow. What a time to be alive. All right. So, let me pull up my email um, because Rachel had some questions uh, that she sent me forever ago, and I just want to do them um, really quick. Let's see. Um, man, my computer is literally my computer is powered by a hamster running on a wheel, dude. It's, it's like not even a joke. Kind of funny, but it's not even a joke. Yeah, dude, I do definitely need to make some uh, fake subscribers so that <laughs> so that I can sub sub more to my page. <laughs> okay, so yeah, what we're gonna do is a little bit of math. Um, I'm trying to get to my email, but while I'm streaming, obviously, it's like the internet is like, oh no, <laughs> it's like no, no, no. So I just am like loading the page right now with uh, Rachel's questions on it um, that she sent me like forever ago, and I was like, oh, these are good questions. Let's do this. Um, ah, dang it, wrong inbox, dummy. So that would be three. That's crazy. Okay, I think I'm, okay, finally I'm here. All right, I got Rachel's questions in front of me, thank God. Okay. Okay, cool. So the first question that she had that, uh, written that I thought was a really good one and I think is worth talking about with you guys just because it's like kind of conceptual, but it's also you could just smash and figure it out is, or actually, no, this first one, I'm not as interested to talk about. I'm interested to talk about this one actually. Because that first one, Rachel, you sent me, you just need to look up 30, 60, 90 triangles. And, like, that's super relevant, but, like, it's not as relevant as you would, like, think for the SHSAT, for sure. Um, okay. So... This is so poorly drawn. Let me draw this better. I was like just getting so like I had my ruler was where did it go whatever I'll just I'll make do gross but it'll be better hold on I know you guys have been waiting for like two minutes for a question but 
It's a really good one. I just forgot it earlier. Okay, so here's the question, dudes. Let's get it. I'll give you guys a minute and a half. This rectangle's area is 120. What is the area of that triangle? <laughs> uh... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, dude. I don't care. I don't care who dies in Endgame. I, I just got to watch it. <laughs> oh, 120 feet squared. There you go, bro. Good question. All right, morals on it already. Good job. Zach is on it. Uh, you can determine it. I'll, I'll just straight up tell you that you can determine it. And I'll tell you guys why in a second. This was like a really sneaky problem. Really sneaky problem. Yeah, and Roy, that question you emailed me about is like one of the hardest questions that I have done. Um, yep, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, good job, dudes. Yep, good job. Okay, so I'm gonna go over how you get this one. Uh, animation, dude, you guys are crushing. Dude, I swear, my chat is like the smartest chat out there, dude. It's like really good. Um, Dude, Roy's question was, I'll show you where you can find it on my site. Yeah, 60, you got it, Minty. Okay, so let me show you guys something. I'm just gonna cut this for a minute. If you got answers, that's good, man. So how do we get the equation of the area of a triangle like you have to ask yourself that and that's what this question is kind of like kind of projecting out here so check it out like i have a square a poorly drawn square that looks like a rectangle but it isn't let's say it's eight by eight so we know that the area for this will be side squared so the area is going to be 64. most people are in agreement about that but what if i were to cut it in half what if i were to make a triangle out of half of it well, what would the area of this triangle be? Well, it would be 64 divided by two because I divided this in half. So this would be 32 and this here would also be 32, yeah? So when you're doing the one half base times height, what you're doing for any rectangle in any triangle is just half of the rectangle that it would be in. Even if the triangle is like this, you are cutting this rectangle or this square in half. That's all you're doing when you pull it, put a triangle inside of a square like this. So we know that since the entire area of this thing is 120, that half of that is going to be um, 60. So that's where all these dudes got their answer from. Now, can you hardwire this? Can you figure this out on your own? Yes, you can. So what if I say this is, uh, what would add up to 120? Um, I don't know. Uh, 120 divided by 20 would be 5. So let's say that this is 20 here. And let's say this is 5 here. I don't know. Just making up numbers that work. Uh, 6, I mean. Duh, of course. I meant 6. Right? So that'd be 120 for sure. So then what would the height of this triangle be? Well, the height of this triangle would be 6. What would the base of this triangle be? 20. So it would be 1 half base height. There we go, that's gonna be 10, and that's gonna be 60. So you can always hardwire it too. You don't always have to conceptually understand that a triangle is half of a rectangle. You can just straight up pick numbers that work, 
go through it and rock it like that, bros. Like, yeah, exactly, dude, exactly. Okay, let's look at this second question. I think this is the last one I'm gonna do from your email, Rachel. Just that first question, bro. Like, just study your 20, 30, 60, 90 triangles, and if you have any other questions about that, you can always just send me another email or whatever. Oh, this last one's really good. I'm gonna try to draw it not like a loser. I'm gonna try to draw it really good, but I make no promises. Free hand in this. I normally like to give you freshy fresh, but I don't know where my ruler really is. Bang. Okay. Okay. All right, back in. All right, so X Z. Y, um, this here is N. And what it says is that N equals 75. Okay, so I wanna know what is the value of X minus Y? Okay, this is the last question from Rachel. Good stuff, man, thanks for this. Let's go. Oh, and I guess they want you to know, hold on, L, M, N, these are like the names of the lines, and this could be O, and they want to know that line L is perpendicular to line N. They do want you to know that, so I'll scoot out a little bit, all of it. Oh, that, and I want to know what X minus Y is. All right, let's get it. Um, good book to buy. I don't really know. Um, yeah, Kaplan's just okay. People are saying Bobby Tariq is good. I haven't seen it yet. The Barons is just okay. Yeah, Barons is good, though. Yeah, they generally make Barons as like, hard as possible. That's like part of it. All right, wow, people are coming in with the answers. I didn't even see it. Oh, I oh, grew this wrong. That's, that's why you guys are having so much trouble. trouble. Dang it, dang all right, it. All right, hold on, hold on. Oh my god, static, static, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> dude, dude. <laughs> okay, I gotta redraw this, because I was like, dumb, and I was trying to go too fast, and I drew it bad, so, so give me a second, let me redraw this. Ah, oh, I'm so mad. I spent so much time drawing this. Whatever, dude, that's what's like. Can't cry over spilled milk, dude. Can't all be like Gus, who just cries when his foot gets run over. Okay, so that's L, M, N, O. We know that L is perpendicular to N. I should choose different variables. Let's just say this here is Q, just to make things easier for us. X, Y, Z. That's going to make things even harder for you guys. Dang it. I'm like out of it today. Why am I even streaming? Um, and then we know that at Q equals 75 degrees. Okay, so this is actually the right question now. Sorry for faking you all out. Um, <laughs> yeah, did you guys love that static? Dude, if you like that static, stick around for 900 subs and you are going to get nothing but an hour of static. It's gonna be, it's gonna be legendary. Okay, so I rewrote the problem. Um, so that um, I could not, I could, it was like a little bit of a redemption for me, bros, because I wrote the problem so poorly. So here is the actual problem. Um, let's get to it now. Let's go. 
can't believe I wrote that problem wrong. I'm so dumb sometimes. Whatever. You just got to pick yourself up, guys. You can't you cannot cannot get distracted. Yeah, I don't know why the static was so short. Maybe because I stopped doing anything when the static happens. Like before, I would like jiggle chords and stuff, but now I'm just like, just let it go. Let's just let it be. You know what I mean? Uh, leave a like if the static is the only reason you show up to this stream. Because <laughs> uh, it's the only reason I do it, just to get that sweet static. Uh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't go to a specialized high school because I wasn't in New York. Yeah, X minus Y. That's what we're solving for, Leo. Yeah, for sure. I'll give you guys like another minute on this. Phoenix is on zero still. still zero from alum animation space is on zero animation space is dropping some nuggets in the chat is that right maybe huh maybe huh interesting zeros is not a choice <laughs> so all right, skills is on 15. Furious has negative degrees, which is uh, a little tough here. Um, but go for it, man. Reach for the stars. You know what I mean? Okay. I am much confused. I am confused much. 15 is an answer choice, so there we go. <laughs> uh, 15 is a choice i don't <laughs> i don't like giving choices <laughs> yeah hey tejas is guessing 15 he might just be getting on the train at this point furious is at 50 okay i'm just gonna give you guys a minute more i i literally have no idea how to do this problem um yeah I, I i like literally don't know how to do this problem yet i have to like look at it so if you know how to do this problem drop it in the chat so you can teach me how to do this problem just kidding but not really um minty yeah minty you're just going with the train i feel that dude although we've had it where like well, the person who's like outside of it is like right um okay all right, so I'm going to start solving this just because, like I said, I really don't know the answer for this one. I haven't really looked at it until Rachel sent it to me, and then I just copied it. All right, so we know that uh, Z plus Y is 75 because this angle is opposite of that angle right there, So and Q is 75. So we know Z plus Y equals 75. That's pretty lit. We also know that X plus Z equals 90. Okay, so those are two things that we do know. Okay. Um, so what to do next what to do next um oh we could do that uh, but we're still missing so that would be x that'd be y that'd be z we'd need this guy right there we could do x right there or z right here and then x but then we wouldn't have that hmm interesting yeah, Just Senpai seems to be that it's 15, pretty hardcore. Um, so does Laurel. 75 times 2. Okay, we could do like a 360 thing, but we still don't have all the angles covered. We This angle right here is going to be a tricky one to figure out. Mm. Do, do, do. So we could do that. Yep, we could do that. All right, systems of equation times, bro. So I'm going to change this. I'm going to subtract a y from each side here. So what we end up getting is z equals 75 minus y. All right, that's pretty solid. Um, and so when I see a z here, I can always just plug in 75 minus y, right? Because z equals 75 minus y. So here's a z. Here's a 75 minus y. You know what I'm talking about? So I'm going to sub it in. 
because we know what z equals z equals this we've just established that and that's based off these vertical angles here guys um so 75 minus y equals 90 okay now we can break open now we're done with our system of equation work and we can break this open x plus 75 minus y equals 90. i'm going to subtract 75 from each side just to get these variables up tight x minus y equals oh please <laughs> hey hey there you go that's what's up okay that's how this one goes down right system of equations and one thing i will say to you bros whenever they ask for something like this be on the lookout for where to find this you know because as soon as i saw that that was 17 minus y and i got a minus y i'm like oh i need to get that next to the x you know what i'm you know what i'm saying so that's kind of how this one goes down does this one make sense i can do <laughs> yeah uh 150 plus 4x equals 36 Ooh, that's kind of cocky then subtract by 37.5, 150 by 70. Wiz, you might have something there, bro. You really do, man. That's that's good stuff. All right, what do you guys think? We should, do, should we do a redemption? Yeah. Redemption time. So, if you got it wrong, don't hang your head. You can do it. Just listen to your heart, and you can get this redemption. Let me Give me a second to, like, whip it up so it's fresh. It's just like Subway. Like, Subway sandwiches, you know how they they break they bake the bread fresh and you like walk in it's like oh so fresh that's how i want these problems to be for you guys um yeah let me let me see if i can whip another one up for you guys really quick because this is a hard problem believe it or not this is actually a very well uh rachel who gave you this problem this is really well made um yeah some people can do it mentally prominent but i never recommend that dude because if you make a small mistake mentally you can't go back and check your work so I always, always, always do it out for sure. All right, let me see if I can make a problem for you guys that won't be bad, but will be good. Okay. Um, um, Ooh, this is a good one. Okay, I think I got one for you guys. Oh, I messed it up. All right, hold up. Uh, this is too, hold on. I made another mistake. Give me a second. Because I, I, I just want to, like, make sure it's legit for you, bros. I don't want to give you guys trash. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Here we go, bro. Here's your question. Bang. Uh, I want to know what the value of x is. What is x equal? Let's get it. Uh, yeah, and I want you guys to absolutely smash that like button. Like, I want you to obliterate. If you're on a desktop, I want you to obliterate your mouse smashing that like button. Also, uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed because we're going to be grinding all summer, bro.
all summer and all fall. Uh, definitely tell your friends if you guys are studying. Um, definitely trying to get to a thousand for sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Laurel's on 90, I guess. Benna agrees. Dude, the redemption is real. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Good job, actor. Really nice, man. Uh, Sports Show's got 60. Okay, Jane's on it. Yeah, the, the chat's going way too fast. You guys are absolutely obliterating this. Wow. Wow. Hey, Huss. Wow, Wiz, got you. Neil, nice, nice. I wonder how you guys did this. I wonder how you guys did this. Uh, Tejas, Neil, I got you. Money, it does look 90, but you can't always do that, dude. Um, we could do, dude, Pokar, just remind me, bro, um, on doing circles later. We can definitely do that, for sure. <laughs> what was your answer, Roy? I didn't even see you, bro. <laughs> what was your answer, dude? uh cool animation nice i like no i like know the people who come to the stream i like know them and i also know their alternative accounts like geo and leo in animation space like that's hilarious to me uh gino gino's being exact i appreciate that gino that's nice <laughs> good job bro nice that's good stuff okay oh roy's got it all right nice Roy. yeah yeah um yeah yeah that's one way to do it yeah do we can practice radicals on a different day we've we can't do them today just because we've gone into them in the past for sure um you could look at like old streams and stuff or even just my exponent videos there's like a whole playlist on like radicals and stuff like that so let's go into this and let's figure out what x is uh i let you guys have way too much time on that but whatever all right so first thing we know that x plus y plus z equals 180 so we can just write this out bank we also know that z plus y equals 90 because the rest of it is 90 so we know that y plus z equals 90 now there's a couple different ways you could do this i'm not going to say one way is better but i'm a big fan of substitution so i'm going to subtract y from each side and i'm going to figure out that z equals 90 minus y so here's a z well here's a z so whenever i see a z i can plug in 90 minus y so i'm going to do that bank now i can open these up cool i'm going to subtract well this y minus y that gets rid of itself and i'm also going to subtract 90 from each side so i'll just keep the y's in there just for obvious reasons okay then these y's obviously cancel out x equals 90 boom we're done that's what's up uh <laughs> oh come on jordan you could <laughs> You can share it with your friends. There's enough seats for everybody. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, that's really good. Um, oh, Rachel, you're talking about your first question. How do you know y plus z is 90? That's a good question, Yashin. Well, we know this whole thing is 180, and this square means 90. So y plus z plus 90 equals 180. Yeah. And if we just subtract 90 from each side, then we know that x plus... or ugh, y plus z equals 90 and we're good to go bang that's how we know that x plus z equals 90 for sure um yeah yeah that'd be chill i'd be down with that uh yep that's why laurel's got it yep totally <laughs> don't die Atlanta. you could do it you could do it just keep studying you're gonna be all right uh do i have any strat straight nine i don't know um and x on the other side of the thingy also square means right angle on the bottom right yeah i mean minty that i mean i think what you're saying is working out i didn't really see it all but yeah um yeah cool man yeah that's good stuff really good stuff okay good redemption bros really nice okay okay so dude yeah minty if you make a thumbnail and send me an email uh, I'll definitely consider it. I won't promise that I use it, but I might make some changes to it. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely, I definitely appreciate it. That's for sure. Let's see. 
Oh, that's nice. Chill, man. Uh, you can just send it to my email. Um, yeah, it's just tylertutortestprep at gmail.com. And at the end of the stream, I'll definitely show you. Okay, so I think I'm going to do Roy's problem now. So I don't even know if Roy is still in the stream, but he sent me this problem. So I'm going to do it um, with you guys just because I think it's super hard. Um, and I, I want to challenge you guys for sure. And uh, Dude, I've been doing this problem for like years. Ten. Let's do ten. Ten. Ten there. Okay. Wow. Even without a ruler, giving you the freshest of the fresh high quality problems. Okay, so that's a four. That is an A. That is a B. Okay, here's the problem, bros. I'm gonna give you guys three minutes for this. Good luck. And just to let you know, all you need to know, dudes, is the Pythagorean theorem. That's all you need to know. What's up, introvert? Yeah, that's good advice, Alicia. I like that. Keep in mind that A is on the front of the box, that B is on the back of the box, bros. So good luck with that. 32, introvert. Forty-eight, says Alana. All right, well, Gina, we can go over the uh, Pythagorean theorem. This is like super, super hard. This might even be too hard for the SHSAT. But I, I got to give it to you guys because the chat has been totally dominating all the problems that I put in front of them. So I have to put some harder problems in front of them. Well, I really can't keep up with the chat. Wow. I think rad 32 can be reduced with. But study also got it. All right, I'll give you guys like another minute on this. This is like a super hard question, dudes. Yeah, and I'm going to be streaming, dude, every single weekday for you, bros. Dude, props to Alam for finding the uh, square root button, dude. Nice. Oh, what was your answer, Laurel? I don't. I didn't. I didn't see it. Give you guys like another thirty seconds. Or rad two. Yeah, that's exactly it. Four to the second power, or is that four rad two? Dude, you did this in class, dude. No way. That's crazy. I've been doing this problem for years. Yeah, dude. Yeah, we're going to go over this for sure. We're going to go over this. Okay, red 32, minty. Okay, that's good. All right, so let's uh, let's get this. So 
in order to answer this, bro, <laughs> in order to answer this, we have to imagine this cube in different perspectives. Okay, I'm gonna normally I'm like in the room with a student when I explain this, but I'm gonna try to explain this the best I can. Okay, so let's start labeling some other sides really quick, just so you guys can get an idea. Let's just say this is C down here. This is D down here. Okay, let's say this is point E right up there. And you know, those are the only ones we really need to talk about. Let's say that's F right there and that's G right there, just to make it easy. So now I want you to imagine if you're looking at this box from the top down, right? So you're looking for directly above it like this. And that's point A, that's point G, that's point F, and point B is really far underneath. And that's point E. So that's a top down look. What does our dotted line look like? Well, it looks like this. Okay, that's kind of interesting, right? Because that's a right angle. And if that's the shadow it makes on the floor, that would be this point right here from C to B, a little right angle up in there, right? Okay, so that's interesting. Um, we know that if we look at it from the bottom, it'd be the same way, right? It would just have this cut across. So we actually can find the distance of this because this is four right here and this is four right there. Throw it into the Pythagorean theorem. This is what's up. Four squared, four squared equals that C squared. We're gonna get 16 plus 16 equals C squared. We're gonna get 32 equals C squared. We can take the square root of both sides and what we're gonna get is that C equals radical 32. So that means this line down here, the shadow of this, or just this line, is going to equal radical 32. That should not blow your mind because that is just the diagonal of the square, right? Okay, so look at this, dudes. Look at this triangle that I'm drawing right up in here. Wow, wow, right? We know that's a right angle, and that's kind of hard to understand, but if you look at the corner of your room and put a pen at a 45 degree angle into the corner of your room, it's gonna be at a 90 degree angle with the wall, for sure. It's gonna be at a 90 degree angle with that wall. So this is 90 degrees with the diagonal on the bottom. And we know what the diagonal is because both the sides here and here are a square, and obviously that's a right, right triangle too, okay? So, that's the first step. I need another piece of paper. <laughs> so now I'm gonna bust out this triangle. Okay, and God, that's, hold on. <laughs> that's such trash, hold on. Yeah, it's big brain time, bro. Get ready. Okay, so now I'm gonna bust out this triangle ABC. Bang. Bang, bang. We know that this is rad 32, that's C, that's B, that's A. We know that this is four. Our AB is going to be our hypotenuse. That's what's up. So, oh, <laughs> what's up, Adana? Uh, so we can plug it in. We know that four squared plus the square root of 32 squared equals AB squared. Pythagorean theorem, bros, all day. 16 plus, this is just 32, guys. We can go into it, but basically when you have rad 32 squared, another way to write that is rad 32 times rad 32. And if you don't know this, you should figure it, you know, remember it, you just really have to memorize it. That's the same thing as saying 32 times 32 radical. And look at that, that's a perfect square. So what we end up getting from it is just straight 32, and that's why we plug it into that equation, yeah. So 16 plus 32 equals AB squared. 48 equals AB squared. We're going to take the square root of both sides. And the square root of 48 equals AB. All right, that's where we're at. So if you have that for the answer, a lot of people do, or Henry did. That's solid, man. That's like very nice. You can reduce this, though, because this could be divided by 4 for sure. 48 and I'm gonna do two, cause I'm dumb, 24, that's four and six, that's two, that's two, that's two, that's three. So that is like saying the square root of two times two, times two, times two, times three. Perfect square, perfect square, 
2 times 2 rad 3 4 rad 3 is the simplified answer. Really close, dudes. Really close. Um, but this is perfect. I'll take that. I'll, very close here, bros. Okay. <laughs> All right. That was a really, really hard problem to end on. I, I just did it because Roy had asked me uh, via email to explain it. Um, but yeah, like they're not going to be that hard. So don't even trip. Don't even trip on it. Um, so uh, yeah, let me see here. I think I'm going to wrap it up, dude. I think that was pretty good for today. Um, so it's just as a reminder, stuff we went over, reading comprehension, function matters, bro. Function really matters. Um, um, what else? We talked about percentages. So just remember to take the percentage off or take the percentage of, do you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> yes, the iconic inning. Uh, yeah, dude. Um, wow, 900 subs static stream. Don't forget, if we get to 900 subs, we're getting a stat all static stream. Uh, yeah, definitely. So if you aren't subscribed, definitely hit that sub button. We're gonna be we're gonna be going all summer. We're gonna be going all fall. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, hit me up via email. I got you. Uh, even just if it's like tough homework, that's what Rachel's questions came from. I got you. Um, <laughs> yeah i don't know why i always stream at six um cool man so yeah really good stuff today bros always really awesome you guys are super smart up in the chat um i gotta get out of here but um yeah if you have any questions hit me up via email man if you're in the chat i got you bro so yeah thank you guys for all the love i'll see you guys tomorrow at six peace